Guyana has been named as one of the host countries for the 14th edition of the ICC Under-19 World Cup next year. The tournament will run from January 14 to February 5th with Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, as well as Trinidad and Tobago confirmed as other venues. A total of 10 venues will be used for the tournament. At the official venue announcement and commemorative bat presentation ceremony at the Guyana National Stadium at Providence, Minister of Culture, Youth and Sports, Honorable Charles Ramson Jr. stated that not only would this event give opportunities to youths of Guyana, but also aid in the economic development of the country. Why did we make this kind of investment and direct this kind of energy? It's because I know that the sport and hosting the tournament matters. It matters in many ways. I'll start off from an economic perspective and then I'll also explain from a youth perspective. We've quantified internally at the ministry that in excess of three million US dollars of economic value will be coming to Guyana within the month of January. Three million US dollars. We were not going to allow an opportunity to host the tournament where you're getting that kind of value of revenue stream directly and indirectly into the country and let that fritter away or disappear. The minister noted that other sectors also stand to benefit. When you think about the transportation, the logistics, all of the people connected to catering, it's hundreds of millions of dollars in economic value, security, everything. The catering of the food, it's connected to farmers wherever they plant, in Barbies or, or Esequibo or in the islands, wherever they plant. It's all connected to a value chain of which generates economic activity that multiplies, multiplies in the economy. To prepare for the 2024 World Cup tournament. So this is on the 19th. It's the, the precursor to getting into the, the big World Cup. It tests our readiness, it tests our strength, it tests, tests also our personnel, it tests our facilities. We know now where and how we have to make the investment to get ourselves into a strong position to host as many games as possible for the 2024 World Cup.